not actually do the Causeway Stones, um, just because everybody's doing that. Um, I've done it before. I've probably got a few decent shots I'm happy with, so I want to actually try something a little bit different. So what I want to do is go to a headland, which is just beside the stones, and the plan is to actually be able to get a shot where I'm looking back towards the causeway and hopefully getting it in some evening light. Um, I'm hoping to be finished the engagement shoot probably around 8 o'clock or before it. Um, so it probably gives me a couple of hours. Um, sunset's just around 10 o'clock tonight, so it probably gives me a couple of hours to play with. Um, just to get over there, um, get any position, have a look around. As I say, I'm not sure what way things are actually going to going to work out for me. Uh, this is just a shot I have in my head so it may or may not work. Um, I'm hoping that I can actually get on top of the headland um, but we'll have to see uh, just what it's like whenever we get there. So here we are guys, we're uh, heading down towards the causeway now. Um, it's about 20 past 8 and the, thankfully the sun is just beginning to break out a little bit. Uh, we're getting a few glimpses of light hitting some of the headlands. Um, we're just heading down towards Port Naboo um, and Port Cranny. The headland I'm going to be trying to get up onto is called the Great Stukin. Um, so the plan is to go there first. Um, I'll probably stay there as long as I can until almost sunset and then I'm possibly then going to move down into Port Naboo and try and shoot sunset from down in there. So what I thought would be quite cool uh, is actually to show you um, the shot that I'm after. So this is the composition of setup. Um, just using the rule of thirds, I'm just going to move in a little bit closer here on the back of the, the live view. So again, you can see the bay of the causeway. And this is what I'm hoping that's going to be lit, lit up by, by lovely warm evening sunlight. Um, using the rule of thirds, um, the way I've set up the composition, I've got the horizon just up in the top third of the image and um, because the sky is pretty bland so I don't really want to include too much more of it down in the bottom left then I'm using this foreground rock and um, just really as a, a bit of a focal point and then what I'm actually gonna do is use the road and the, the edge of the bay on the right hand side just to lead the eye right around um, and right around the cliff face towards where the causeway stones are and towards where the amphitheater and, and the headland is in the distance but as I say, what we're actually doing is just waiting for some light um, to hit this and I'm pretty much determined not to shoot this until I get the light um, and if I don't get the light then I'm probably not even going to fire off uh, an exposure. So it's now uh, half past nine, I'm still waiting. Things are looking a little bit more promising though, um, out in the horizon if I just spin myself around. So that's the view behind me. So I'm just waiting on that sun to, to start to get a little bit lower. Um, don't think it's gonna be too long before this headland starts to get lit up, fingers crossed. I actually go right around the other way, um, back towards uh, Donegal um, and the White Rocks in Dunluce Castle. Um, I can see the sun already just hitting the White Rocks there so I'm hoping that it's going to work its way across. So 
guys, not sure if you can see this, but um, I've actually got some absolutely gorgeous light um, just panning the whole way around here. Um, I'm almost spoiled for choice as to where I'm going to shoot. It's actually pretty amazing here at the moment. So um, I've actually moved down off uh, off the Great Stukin and I'm actually shooting back towards um, the White Rocks and, and Donegal and back towards that way. So um, I'm going to just keep firing off some shots here before this sun um, completely disappears. So I've made it round to, to Port Naboo. Um, to be honest, I think I've made a bit of a a poor decision here. I've had a bit of a rush round. Um, kind of struggling to get a composition, to be honest. Um, what I'm actually doing is trying to... I don't know what you can see there. There's a massive big um, rock pill just in the, my foreground. I'm trying to use that as some sort of a foreground interest. The sun has pretty much just gone down. Um, but we'll see what we get on, um, how we get on here. To be honest, I'm quite happy with what I've got. Um, I didn't come for a sunset, but um, it's always frustrating whenever you're right on location and a sunset appears and you're not actually in a good position. So um, I'm gonna stay here. Uh, I don't think I can really improve my composition. Um, so I'm gonna just write it out here and see how we get on. Just thought I would let you see just a quick shot of what we got earlier. Um, this was one of the shots actually looking back um, towards White Rocks and, and Donegal and, and Port Rush that direction. Um, the light was absolutely amazing earlier on. Um, so fingers crossed, uh, once we get this back on the computer, I can't really see it. Uh, the light looks lovely. 10 second exposure at F11.